Hey guys, how's it going? I don't know if High Tide is a pump and dump. I seriously don't. But, uh, you know, we all know that they they plan to list on the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, sorry, the, the NASDAQ. Uh, and right now, the stock is popping. It's up 8.5 cents. 27.419%. Uh, even though I'm a shareholder and I shouldn't be saying this. A uh, hundred and seventy three million dollar market cap is getting me a little concerned just a little concerned But at the end of the day, I don't move the markets and You know rich people You know moving the stock price May continue to move the stock price because they already spent so much effort to move the stock price from you know where it was to where it is now I don't think that it's a pump and dump, but I could be wrong and you know, this could be a pump and dump and people should take their profit and run. But I'm not. I'm going to hold on. This is a huge, huge winner for me. I bought the stock when it was 15 cents. Uh, I didn't quite buy the bottom, which was 10 cents. I bought it around 15 cents. I was talking so heavily positively about it, talking, saying that uh, that it was a good I thought it was a good investment uh, at 15 cents and some people were saying that it's going to go down to 10 cents and you know I did I believed in the company I said this is a profitable company when they were making good revenues they were making good profits and now I'm getting rewarded for it I've more than doubled my money on the stock and uh, I can I plan to keep holding on to the shares and it's been a really, really big winner for me. There has been no news on this stock today, but yet it popped. I, you know, this is just my opinion, but I think that, you know, randomly rich people can pump the stock without any news. They, can, they just felt like pumping the stock today, so they pumped it. And that's my explanation for why the stock went up today. Because I really don't have one. Uh, volume today was... Um, decent it was uh, 5.35 million uh, yesterday was 3.72 million so I I don't know what the stock price is gonna do short term long term uh, but uh, I'm I'm hoping that rich people keeps moving the stock price up because I'm a shareholder we'll see what happens like I said this could be a pump and dump it is getting overbought right now and I'm thinking uh, that there should be a pullback, but who knows at the end of the day what's going to happen. I hope it is no pullback. I hope that rich people keep pumping this to the moon. But we'll see. Only time will tell. Uh, you know, just uh, promoting a little bit of CBD City. Uh, for anybody that uh, likes CBD products, you should support High Tide. Especially if you're a shareholder and buy some CBD products. They sell gummies and these look actually look pretty good. Made in the U.S. GMO free. Um, and they, I, they provide free shipping which is pretty awesome. So yeah. Um, they have lots of variety products. Vapes, sports, for pets even. Edibles, skincare, CBD oils. And then for people who don't like buying CBD, you can also, on the US, you can also buy products from there. Glass City, you know, pretty good reviews. 412 positive review on the Glass Breaker Ice Bong, 10 inches. So yeah, you know, pretty, uh, pretty awesome company uh, with some US exposure that could, uh, I mean, with a US listing, that could really increase the sales of products from Glass City and CBD City. And I'm hoping that the CEO of uh, High Tide goes on CNBC one day, just like Aurora and Afria and Hexo. Oh, I don't know if Hexo went on CNBC, but I'm hoping one day High Tide gets on CNBC. Uh, at that point, I would be you know, making a huge amount of profit on this company. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But I'm happy that the stock price is up, and I hope that this company continues to move up. 
and I'm still waiting on the earnings report. I don't think they've released the earnings report. It should come very, very soon here, but uh, don't know when. I think uh, they're going to do a combo uh, earnings report with Meta and High Tide. That's why it's taking so long, but that's just my opinion. Remember how I talked about my Med? And my man back then when it was getting listed on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ, it was sitting at 40 or 50 cents. Right now it's sitting at $3.85. I wish I just bought in when I, I heard that news that it was going to list on the NASDAQ. I would, uh, you know, 4x, 5x my money. But, oh well, whatever. Lost, uh, lost opportunities. Uh, Hopefully high tide does the same thing. It goes at three, four bucks. That would be awesome. Uh, lots and lots of people would make a lot of money if that was a scenario, especially people who are long on high tide because you know, rich people are pumping your stock. Uh, I am this. I also think that this is the winner, but uh, only time will tell where the stock price will go. Um, any dips could be a huge buying opportunity, my opinion only. Uh, we'll see where rich people pump this. Cresco Labs. Cresco Labs is up $0.44. Cents. Tesla is up $11.32, 1.37%. .37%. Kira Leaf is today uh, up $0.64. Cents. Xping was a pretty big winner today too. Xping up... Six dollars and twenty-four cents, fifty-four bucks U.S. right now. Very big winner. Um, my call options are extremely volatile right now, but uh, I'm hoping to see this thing hit seventy-two dollars in the near future here. But uh, only time will tell, and where rich people will pump this stock. Hmm. Uh, to let's look at uh, some of the Canadian players today. Aurora is down four percent, five percent. Village Farms today is uh, up three point seven percent. This one's also a big winner for me too. Uh, GameStop today had a really nice day, up six dollars and twenty six cents. Um. Yeah, not too much to say about that. Uh, you know, I might make another video about GameStop tomorrow, depending on how I feel. Um, Planetar up four point five two percent. I you know, let's look at CGC. CGC today is a uh, little red. Uh, Afria today is uh, little green, up sixteen cents. Um, Hey, look, let's look at look at Chiron. It's been a while. Chiron down today, half a penny. I, I said Chiron is a big gamble. You know, like I said, rich people move stocks. Maybe one day rich people will pump Chiron. I do have a small position in this stock. A uh, little, uh, bit, a bit, of, a bit of a bag holder at the moment. But who knows? Maybe this is a buying opportunity. It's gonna skyrocket any day now. But who knows? At the end of the day. Uh, news moves MJ stocks, so, um, let's look at, uh, Hexo, what's Hexo doing today? Hexo is a little red, down 33 cents. Uh, Sundial, Sundial Growers is down 30, down 3.3 cents, 4.66%, percent uh, yeah, not too much to say about that. Sundial grows seven hundred and five million dollar market cap. <laughs> Gives high tide lots of potential to move to the upside, hey? Eh? Just my opinion. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's all I really have in this video. Uh, subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.